Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy, a challenge in The Sims 4 by the Lucid Simmer. A link to the rules for the challenge and the Lucid Simmer's channel will be in, in the description below. And we're just here with May, so most of her job has been done. So she just has her last few lifestyles that she has to hold on to, which is the techie lifestyle and the coffee fanatic. And she is working on keeping her celebrity status at least three stars. And then we have Adora, who pretty much has finished everything she needs to finish. But we do have these three kids. So Paisley, Case, and Regina will be aging up to toddlers pretty soon. And then May's other children will be aging up to children. Well, actually it's Trevor's kids. So Trevor has a bunch of alien babies because he got abducted by aliens. And I have remade the house to have bedrooms for the kids. So there's this one bedroom that's kind of stuck in the middle out here, but it's not too bad because it creates a hallway that goes to the outside. So all of the bedrooms are the same size, except for the one that got balcony. That one is a little bit bigger. And then we have this orange bedroom right here and this teal bedroom over here. So we do have four bedrooms downstairs besides the original two or three, because we have Adora's old bedroom right here. And then May's combined bedroom studio area. And then of course the butler is still over here. So there is only one bathroom for the household to share, but I think that's fine because it's just one bathroom downstairs. And then there's the ensuite, which is May and Trevor's bathroom. And then upstairs we have the ensuite for Adora and we have a public bathroom area this is kind of like a public bathroom for adora's parties but she's not going to really be having any more parties so this will be the kids bathroom once they're old enough to shower but right now they're just taking baths and this bathtub over here with adora's ensuite bathroom or downstairs in the main bathroom okay may did you finish your live stream you did okay so we're a little bit strapped for cash right now but that's fine all of the babies are really in a good mood except for the fact that the pets kind of passed away last episode and i think this episode we might be losing the cats unfortunately so be prepared for that. The horses, however, is still have a lot of time left because they're not even elders yet. Okay, it's time to go to the store, which means we have to make sure that everyone is fed. Why is Richard tired already? He doesn't sleep the whole night. Well, that's unfortunate. And as usual, Adora is just playing her guitar, dreaming of being a star. And then Richard is running the store. People are still buying, even though I have the price mark up set to 100%. Hopefully we'll have enough to pay the employee and actually make a profit. Because last time, we did not. I think we had two employees, though, and now I only have one. I believe I fired the other guy because he was pretty much worthless. Oh, you are wiping my memory. You must be an alien. Okay. Okay, for some reason, the employees will completely ignore their needs. Okay, well, ring her up. Okay, actually, we probably need to close the store now. So, we'll go ahead and restock these items, and then Adora will let the employee clock out early. Hey, look, I know you're having a hard time being pregnant, but that's no excuse not to take bathroom breaks. Why don't you just go ahead and go home? Okay, we made 2,000 simoleons, 2,031. That's not too bad. 
All right, time to feed the starving infants because for whatever reason, the game decides that if you're not on the lot, the infants don't need to be fed and they can't care for themselves because I think what happens is they have this issue where they're honing their wellness skill and you can't change it to care for self. So because it has that issue, it basically drains all of their needs and they don't have an opportunity to fill it again. Okay, today is actually Trevor's birthday. So we're going to have him call off of work and then maybe we'll have a little get together with the family in the evening. You are still pregnant. How much longer? Okay, she's in the third trimester. I think I might have to hire a different employee and allow her to go home. Okay, she sounds like she's happy with her job. And I think I have promoted her to, like, the highest level. So we'll keep her as long as she doesn't look like she's going into labor. Okay, she just bought something. Is she going to buy something else? She bought it without me even talking to her. I rung her up and she bought the microphone and then she just walked over here and bought a CD. That is really strange. Okay, the store is clean, so now I can have my employee ring up customers. I don't know, we probably should go. Maybe I should close the store and we should go have Trevor's birthday now. Uh, see what I mean? The infants, okay, I do have one infant that says care for self, but even though it says care for self, it doesn't seem like their needs are going up very much. And then this one says hone wellness skill. This is a bug. You can't even change it to something else. This is just ridiculous. I don't like how that happens. Look, the toddlers are all fine. I mean, sure, they have a little bit of needs, but not that much. And then of course the adults are perfect. Okay, well, we're just going to close the store. Oh, and look, now the infants say care for self. Okay. But still, their needs. Look, only their energy is going up, and it's only going up a tiny bit. All right, there we go. That, a tiny bit, and then three arrows. I don't know why the game does this, but it seems like it cannot care for infants when you're not at home. And it's just so annoying. Okay, I just cheated everybody's needs up to max because I am not about to have hungry and starving infants and toddlers at home. That's just ridiculous. Plus, they should be sleeping right now when everyone else is going out. So what I'm going to do is bake a cake and maybe we'll have, I don't know, Adora. Adora, do you know how to cook? Well, level four. What about May? Okay, so May is a max level cook. Why don't you cook a cake? Because that's how we work in The Sims. We cook cakes. Oh, actually, May needs to get a drink. So we'll have Adora do it. It's sad. Trevor doesn't have any friends other than May and Adora. I didn't really realize that. Well, let's have some drinks. Where is the bartender going? Okay, it looks like third floor bar is the one that's going to be populated. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, wait, he's not tending bar. He's just standing there, even though he is a mixologist. Okay, there is one up here at the top, but that's just a bouncer. And it looks like this bartender is not tending to his duties he's neglecting to do anything fine i will make us drinks oh are you gonna go back to your station now no no you're not okay that's okay adora's a mixologist she's a level 10 so the real mixologist or the guy who's supposed to be working is just sitting down on the job <laughs> and Adora just says, hey, dad, I'll get you a drink. No sweat. Okay, he's finally back at his station. Too late. I ordered my own drinks. Okay, maybe we should all go dance for a little bit. 
Let's see, where is a place that we can dance? Well, this looks like a karaoke bar. I'm not sure if there is a place to, to dance. There should be, though. Where? There's got to be a... Oh, there's a radio. Maybe there is another one upstairs. There's got to be one up here. I don't want to go downstairs to dance. Oh, I'm either blind or there isn't one. Okay, I ordered four drinks. How did you guys just not finish your drinks? Stop talking. No, don't introduce yourself. Just finish your drink. And then go dance. And then we have to eat cake, which means we have to blow out the candles first. Okay, so who has the cake? Adora has the cake. Oh, no! No! <laughs> Trevor was literally going to go blow out the candles! Why? I didn't think that his... Well, technically, it is 12.32 a.m., it is past his birthday. Ugh. I'm sorry, Trevor. Oh, he gets to be wise? Okay, Trevor gets to be wise. Alright, well, we're going to remove the candles now because we don't need them, and then we're all going to take a piece of cake. Hopefully get it before everyone else does. Everyone take a piece of cake before the masses get one. Okay. Now we need to compliment the birthday, Sam. Well, Trevor, you are the first one to reach elderhood. But don't worry. Your children will be safe. Because in this save, elders live a very, very long time. So I've changed it so that elders have like... Oh, I don't know. I can't remember exactly. Okay, elders live 43 days, but oh no, he's freaking hysterical. Okay, stop dancing. Trevor, we don't want you dying. Try to calm down before you die. I don't have any death flowers on this family. You do not need to die. You have kids. Let's forget about the funny conversation. Okay, thank you. And I don't really want may to be very playful too because they're going to have too many buffs so we'll go ahead and calm her down as well and then we'll get our gold birthday party out of the way oh yeah fall tricks was a disaster but i couldn't do the holiday at the same time so sorry about that and now we have a gold birthday party okay i'll go ahead and take the cake home and we'll go back to the kids before they start starving again. Oh no, we didn't even do the main goal. He didn't blow out the candles. But we still got a gold birthday party. Okay. Okay. He didn't get the buff that said that they forgot his birthday. Normally when you have a sim just age up, it says that you forgot their birthday. But he was at his birthday party. So I completely agree with that. I'm glad the game does that. Okay, so today is the infant's birthdays. Paisley, Case, and Regina. So we're going to have a bunch of toddlers. What we should try to do is get everyone's needs up to full. Even though they were full last night they have again deteriorated to the point where they need sleep so badly and i don't get it but that's okay we'll have the adults wake up when they're fully rested then they will go and make a birthday cake and we'll take the entire family out today because we have to age up three infants and yeah we'll probably just go to a kid's place and have a kid's birthday party really early and then maybe we'll go to the store after their birthday party. Oh, Adora is going to be family oriented. Yeah, sure. She can be family oriented because she actually changed and sacrificed some of her desires for her family. Okay, I am going to attempt to have this birthday party at the McDonald's, which would be awesome if toddlers and infants could go to the McDonald's. But no. They can't. 
So we'll just have to try and get a group seat for the adults. I think they're actually sitting down. Oh, awesome. They are. All right. So I have one for the adults. It's just the children that will not be able to have a seat. I mean, I made this little seating out area out here, and these won't be considered regular tables because they're living room chairs. So the babies will have to be out here, and we'll get them some hamburgers and some salad. And I may have forgotten the desserts, but that's okay. And we actually have a cake. I'm not sure if we can age the infants up, but we will try. Happy birthday, Paisley! You're now going to be a toddler! Okay, she's going to be a fussy toddler. I really don't care what their toddler traits are, so I'll just pick random ones. Ooh, one thing I did forget is a toddler potty. So, yeah, this place probably should have one. Okay, happy birthday, Case! Oh, and just my luck, it's raining. Case is inquisitive. Oh, Trevor starts work in an hour. No, you're going to have to take a vacation day, Trevor. And happy birthday, Regina. Okay, Regina's going to be silly. Yeah, the only issue with these talking toilets is everyone, for some reason, goes in there and talks to the toilet. Go away! My sim needs to use the bathroom. Okay, we'll order everyone chicken nuggets and coffee, and then all the kids will eat what's at the table already. Okay, and then after they are done, depending on whether or not they're tired, I will send them to nap or play in the ball pit. Yeah, I don't think the adults are going to get their stuff. I'm just going to go grab a serving of something else because this is just stupid. Unfortunately, restaurants are kind of buggy. So we're just going to cut our losses here and grab something to eat where we can. Yeah, items on the table are preventing my order from being delivered. There is one thing on the table. Oh, okay. It did get delivered. All right. Well, that's kind of awesome. Even though I did have something on the table, it didn't matter. Okay, everyone had a nice time. Now we'll pay and leave. Oh no, Richard has food poisoning? Something must have been wrong with the restaurant food. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I don't really see an option to complain to the restaurant, which is annoying. I wish there was a way because it tells you that you should do that, but yet there's no way to complain. I completely forgot to have the kids open their birthday present. So the open presents with interaction will only work properly at a birthday party. If you do it outside of a birthday party, it has everyone open their own present, which is really not what I'm expecting. I'm expecting one person to get presents from everyone that's selected in the group, which happens at a birthday party. But it doesn't happen when you just do it as a normal everyday event. So we'll just have every kid get one present. You got a violin. You're a toddler. Why do toddlers get children toys? They should get toddler toys. And you get a decoration. Ugh. Those presents are terrible. Why would a toddler want a decoration? And Paisley got a jar for marbles. No marbles, just the jar. What kid wouldn't love that? At least Regina got a violin. I mean, she's a toddler. She can't play it. I guess we'll keep it for when she gets older. Okay, so we're open for business now. And our employee is no longer pregnant. But she looks very sad for some reason. Well, we sold one of the Grimm's ghoulish guitars. That was a pretty penny. I wish we could sell some of the violins over here, though. There's one for 15,000 simoleons. 
Okay, you're assigned to ring up customers. Please go get that customer that's standing next to the 15,000 Simoleon violin. I'm not going to take the chance. I'm going to go ring her up myself. She might be getting the cheapo crafted one. But she's standing really close to the 15,000 simoleon one. And she's about to stop purchasing. Come on, Richard. Okay, he got it. Now you're a rising star. You're a celebrity. You don't want that old, cheap, crafted violin. <gasps> she bought it. She bought it for 30,000 simoleons. I can't believe I sold it. All right, well, at least she's ringing up the other guy. Well, today is Harvest Fest, but it's also the other toddler's birthdays. So Christy, Camille, Melvin, and Olivia are going to become children. You know, I was going to cook something and make a birthday cake, but then I remembered we have this market over here. Yeah, I don't have time to cook everything all the time. So we're just going to buy some brownies and why can't I buy anything? Why is this not working? Is this shop not open? No, you cannot just eat the cake. Why can I not buy anything here? Well, I guess we'll have to screw that. Maybe I'll just buy it from Build Buy. I don't know why this retail lot's not working. I think maybe it's because it's actually owned by one of my playable households, but not this household. Well, that sucks. I can't buy anything at it. It should just automatically generate people that are here that can take my order, but no, it's not. It's just not working. Great. Okay, option two, <laughs> go into build mode. And if you have some downloaded rooms in your library you can place them and of course i do not okay get them off of the gallery just look for cake okay this one has all cakes but that room is way too big i need a small room oh if you sort by most popular yeah i know that's yeah this one this is the one that i usually use the happy birthday cake so we're going to download this room to my gallery and place it on the lot. Now I paid good money for these cakes. So basically we're going to save at least four of them and then you can get rid of the room. Well, I thought I could get rid of the room. Why is that not working? Okay, and then we do the same for the food. And then you can just drag it into your inventory and take it with you. Now, this is not cheating because I paid for this food. It's like if I paid for a caterer, but I wanted to order it ahead of time and I didn't want to wait for them to make it. So it's already made. I paid for it and we're going to use this food at the birthday. Okay, so it's Olivia, Camille. Melvin and Christy. So the Watermans. Yeah, because they have Trevor's last name. And then the rest of the household will be the guests. Okay, and I downloaded this small water park from the gallery. It is super awesome. I love what they did with the slides, even though you can't technically slide down. It just looks fun. But anyway, I did modify it a lot. So my version has the little pool over here for the toddlers. So you can actually uh, play in this water over here where this was just a normal fountain. And the reason why I turned it into an actual pond is because the infants and the toddlers can get in it. And you can't do that with a fountain. Although I think you can play in a fountain. But I'm not sure what ages can do that. Maybe a toddler could do that. I don't know. But anyway, I know for sure that dipping toes in the water for an infant has to be a pond. So that's why it's a pond and not a fountain. So thanks to the creator, um, Diego Katz. I'm going to go with Diego Katz, maybe. Anyway, uh, thanks to that creator, this is a really awesome water park. 
and we're going to be having the birthday party here. Okay, we're going to attempt to have Melvin open birthday presents with all of the adults. Now, this is what happens when you plan a birthday party. Everyone comes over, and I think Melvin is supposed to get a gift from every person. Okay, so he got a dollhouse. He got a laser light show. And he got an action figure. And that's so cute. Okay, so now we'll have him blow out the candles. Happy birthday, Melvin. And Melvin is going to be a geek. We'll give him a whiz kid aspiration. Okay, Melvin, take a piece of your birthday cake. Okay, now it's Olivia's turn to open presents. And it doesn't matter if she's a child or a toddler. She got a television set. Uh, because basically children will get toddler toys and toddlers will get children toys. And the game does not appropriately assign a gift to the right age. So that's just how that goes. Okay, Olivia, time to blow out the candles and become a child. And every child gets to take a piece of their cake, so I'm not taking any chances. I have like eight cakes. Happy birthday, Olivia. Go blow them out. Yeah, that's the way you do it. There's so many people here. Okay, Olivia is going to be a perfectionist. So we'll choose the creativity aspiration for her. And then go take a piece of your cake. Okay, and then next is going to be, well, they're not in order anymore. Okay, well, Christy is next. And Christy got a home for two dollhouse. She didn't like it. Okay. A Penguin t Vision t Children's Television Set. Why are kids getting TVs? They're not going to have TVs in their bedroom. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Adora is hysterical. No, we're not going to do that. Um, okay, so go calm down, Adora. We'll try to calm down and we'll get maybe Trevor to age up the kids. Probably should have been Trevor doing it in the first place, but Trevor did not have the cakes. Happy birthday, Christy. Okay, Christy is a horse lover, so maybe she can be a motor kid. Okay, and then Camille. Okay, we got Mr. Floppy the Gnome. The Lots of Love Bear. Purple action figure. Okay. Okay, and then Camille gets to blow out the candles on her hamburger cake. Happy birthday, Camille. And she's going to be neat. All right, well... Maybe we'll give her the mind and body aspiration. And then everybody can just hang out and do whatever they want because we already got gold on this party. Paisley and Richard have a difficult dynamic. Well, I guess if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. We have so much food. I really didn't need that much food, but I wanted to be sure that people didn't starve. Okay, so now that all these kids are children, we need to get rid of the toddler beds downstairs. Okay, another thing that I completely forgot is that today is also Mayhem's birthday. So she's going to become an elder, and it's okay that we actually have... Oh, don't drink that. That's spoiled. How did that spoil right as I was getting one? Well, anyway, it doesn't matter that we have a separate birthday party for her. It's actually better that way. So everyone went home and we're just going to throw a birthday party here for May as soon as she gets a cup of coffee. Happy birthday, May. You're now going to be an elder. And yeah, she is. All right, everybody come get a piece of cake. Okay, we hired a new employee and we opened the store. So we have two now. Okay, we made some sort of profit, I think. Yeah, 572 simoleons. We had a lot of restocking and some decent wages. I think it's because we had some restocking to do when we first arrived. 
So we didn't make very much profit today. Oh no. We're losing Thomas. Well, sorry everyone. The cats are no more. And after this, I guess we just have the horses. But like I said, the horses are not even elders yet. So I think we probably won't be around for the horses to pass away. But the cats are the last small animal that we had. Well, it's the last day of the week and we're just running the store a little bit. And seeing if we can get any profit this time. I don't know. It doesn't really matter anymore though because to be honest we have plenty of money. It seems that Trevor and May's jobs just keep paying the bills and we've managed to stock up the store quite a bit. So it does have enough things in here to sell. I mean not everything is filled in. Maybe we can buy some more things for these podiums over here. And I still really haven't done anything with this section yet. But I just wanted to let everyone know that you should join my Discord server because I currently have a giveaway going for Horse Ranch. But this is only if you're on PC or Mac because it's an EA app code. So I received this code as part of EA playtesting. So if you're also interested in being a playtester for EA, EA, I encourage you to go sign up. It's pretty interesting because you get a sneak peek into what's coming. So I also have a link for that in my, my Discord server. So you have until Monday, November 18 at 8 p.m. Eastern to sign up for the giveaway. It's in the pack giveaways channel. You just have to click a button and I don't even see who participates. I only see who wins. So the rules for this is giveaways, no purchase necessary. Channel membership does not increase your odds of winning and the rest of the rules are also in the channel. So if you'd like to review the rules, we do have clear rules for participating because YouTube requires that. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.